If you're all caught up on the books that came out this spring, there is a slew of new reads coming out this summer that are deserving of attention. We've chosen one for every weekend, with a couple extra cuz you'll need them for vacation. Plus, we've identified special extras that could keep summer on we at bay for days. Out now the Life Lucy News by Karma Brown, Park Row, 304 pages, $19.99, Park Row Books, kudos, Rachel Cusk Harper, Rapturous Reviews follow pretty much every book Cusk writes, and this one is no different. It's the third in the trilogy featuring Faye in a series of encounters with people in a plotless narrative. In this new book, Faye's own opinions surface more and more. Extra, you can read the first two in the series, Outline and Transit, both of which were nominated for the Giller Prize. Bonus fun fact, she's recognized as Canadian else she wouldn't be eligible for the Giller, but it's caused some controversy as she was born here but spent most of her life in Britain. Mama's Boy, David Goudreau, J.C. Sutcliffe, Translator, Book Asterisk Hug, this book took Quebec by storm, winning the 2016 Grand Prix Literaire Archambault. Now English readers, too, can be regaled by the gritty humor in this family drama about a young man who sets out in search of his mother after a childhood spent shuffling from one foster home to another. The showrunner, Kim Mortsugu, Dunder and rising star Stacey McCready wants to become a power player. Right now, she's in the middle of a power struggle with her former TV producer mentor. When a new assistant comes on the scene the blood feud really begins. Extra, if you love TV, Moritsugu also recaps TV shows online as the hungry novelist. This one's already optioned for big screen treatment, article continued below the Life Lucy News Karma Brown, Park Row, Harper, Karma Brown is known for writing readable books with thoughtful themes that touch on our lives. In this one, Lucy bangs her head in a fall. When she wakes up from her coma, the life she remembers as hers doesn't match the reality. An exploration of family, relationships and choosing the life you want to live. Karma Brown lives just outside Toronto. Oscar, Mauricio Segura, Don Winkler, translator, Biblioasis, set in depression there in Montreal, it's the story of two brothers felled by the White Plague, Oscar, who recovers, and Brad, who succumbs. It evokes the cabarets of the 1950s, Oscar's relationship with the Caribbean diaspora and pays home to the musical great. Extra, this book comes with a soundtrack. And, Peterson's renditions of When Summer Comes. Summertime, or, Mississauga Rattler, for those in the Massasauga Snakes territory are a worthy soundtrack for the season. The ward uncovered Holly Martell, Michael McClelland, Tatum Taylor and John Loring, Coach House, a couple of years ago Coach House put out a book called The Ward, filled with essays about a now disappeared area of Toronto that, for more than a century, was the first home for most people who emigrated here. This book gives us more insight to the area following on a recent archaeological dig on Armory Street. In what was a parking lot beside City Hall and will be our new courthouse, and looks at the artifacts found many of them from the privies out back, and the stories they tell. Extra, make this a prelude to a hands-on day trip to see some of the artifacts on display at City Hall. July Her Pretty Face, Robin Harding, Gallery, Scout, Simon & Schuster, this one might be the thriller of the summer. Dubbed, Domestic Drama. Vancouverite Harding's created Francis Metcalf, a mom with a troubled son who just wants to fit in with the other parents. A scandal, prevents that, but does lead to a friendship with the mysterious Kate Randolph, who also dislikes the other moms. The twist, one of these two might just be a murderer. 
from the corner of the Oval Beck Dory Stein, Random House, a memoir for the political junkie and the gossip junkie all in one. Stein was a stenographer to President Barack Obama and flew around the world on Air Force One with the media pack. She calls the experience like summer camp on steroids, extras, if you still haven't had enough political intrigue you could follow this up with former President Bill Clinton and writer James Patterson's collaborative thriller The President is Missing. Lots of fun. My name is A Knife, Alex Holly, Vintage, you might not picture yourself a Daniel Boone fan, you know, the frontiersman during the American Revolutionary War who went down in legend, but BC. Author Alex Holly's compelling new book is historical fiction with an edge. Extra, you can also go back and read Holly's first boon book All True Not a Lion at which was a multiple award winner. Article continued Bell of Immigrant, Montana, Amitava Kumar, Hamish Hamilton, Indian immigrant Kalash arrives in New York in 1990 to attend graduate school. Using anecdotes, annotations, pictures and text to tell a well-observed and moving story of a young immigrant in search of himself. This is the highly anticipated second novel by Kumar, following his first Nobody Does the Right Thing. August Fo, Ian Reid, Simon & Schuster, this is the second thriller by Ontario writer Reid, following up on his best-selling I'm Thinking of Ending Things. This time, a married couple living a quiet life on their farm are surprised by a visitor from the city who offers Junior a trip far away. Hen is left alone, or is she? Extras, he started off writing something completely different, award-winning memoirs. Take a look at his other side by adding one bird's choice and the truth about luck to your reading list. Starlight, Richard Wagamese, McClellan and Stewart, the final book from this beloved indigenous storyteller, he died March 2017 and was still working on this one. Frank Starlight takes in an abused woman named Emmy and her daughter. Wagamese tells a difficult story with incredible beauty. Extras, Indian Horse, the book, the movie, or both, or Embers, a small book of meditations and thoughts, are a strong part of the recent Wagamese canon. Women Talking, Miriam Tapes, Knopf, this is one we're very excited about. Eight women, grandmothers, mothers, teenagers, over two days, make a life-changing decision that will affect all the women in the Mennonite colony. The book is the spellbinding, sometimes difficult, conversation between them over those two days. Extras, Taves has won awards for plenty of her previous books including All My Puny Sorrows and A Complicated Kindness. They are essential reading and this is the perfect time to do a binge read of Taves' books. The Saturday Night Ghost Club, Craig Davidson, Knopf, Davidson takes us back to the area of his Giller-nominated book Cataract City, which took place in and around Niagara Falls. Here, neurosurgeon Jock delves back into macabre urban myths, and the nature of memory. Extra, Davidson also writes horror under the name Nick Cutter so if you want something even darker, you might want to check out Little Heaven and the Troop. Heartbreaker, Claudia Day, Harper Avenue, this book hooks you right from the start with Day's quirky voice and humor. Narrator heroine Pony Darlin Fontaine constructs her odd northern world for us as we go along with her on the search for her mother, who disappears one cold October night. Day is a playwright and was nominated for the Governor General's Award and the Trillium Book Award for the Gwendolyn Poems. Extra, she's been a cook in lumber camps and is the co-founder of the design label Horses Atelier. You can buy her designs here, https colon slash slash www.horseatelier.com slash French exit. Patrick DeWitt, a Nancy, a part of high society is the unlikely topic of DeWitt's newest book. With his now trademark quirky, witty perspective. 
Extra, the movie based on his Booker and Giller Prize nominated nominated novel, The Sisters Brothers is out in October. You could get through his whole oeuvre of ablutions 2009 and under my hortomometer 2015 to make yourself a real DeWitt expert. Read more. Devious characters, grisly crimes mark the newest crop of mystery books all you need for the beach, a towel, sunscreen and one of these nude novels. Hallucinatory tales from inside Iraq, Afghanistan wars.